What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to Chris Buzzy Gears and Reviews. And today I want to explain to you real quick, fast, and in a hurry why I'm going to attempt to sell the Gen 5 Glock 26. Take the money that I'm going to get from that. Go to Academy Sports and get the Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS. Now, the reason why I say is attempt is because there's one pawn shop slash gun shop that I deal with down the street. And he's real generous on the prices. So I'm looking to go inside of there. We are clear. This is Gen 5 Glock 26. <clears throat> I assume I should be able to get 400 for this with everything that you see right here. The Gen 5 Glock 26 with the TRL6, with the Talon grip, with the 15 round Glock 19 magazine, with the X grip, two um, 10 round magazines with the base plates, and the 10 round flush fitting magazine, and the back strap. I assume that when I go to him, because I've done a lot of business with him, so he's real generous with the prices. I should be able to get at least 400 for that. If not 400, maybe he'll chunk me off with 350. That's still cool. We'll take that money, put it towards the Glock 19 MOS. Now, this is very important that I mention this. If I go down there and for some reason, maybe he got a backup of inventory or whatever the situation may be, and he do not buy this, we'll keep it. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to have to put my own money to get the Glock 19 MOS from Academy Sports. Because I don't need this in the Glock 19. You see what I'm saying? I don't need both of them. So that's why I kind of want to get rid of this and then go with the Glock 19. But if you don't want this, I'm not going to ride around town trying to sell this. Because if I go to somewhere that's not as generous, they're going to try to chump you off with like $250 or $300. And I, I just can't do that. When I know that you can put this gun in your cabinet for $500, you're not going to chump me off with no $250 or no $300. You know what I'm saying? I know what I got. I know it's worth. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's why I want to try to stick to that one person that I deal with. And also, I would explain to y'all why I don't like the Gen 5 Glock 26. When you get to a point with your EDC handgun and you're like, I really just don't like that motherfucker. It's time for you to kind of let it go. Kind of like in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, us being men, if you're in a relationship with a woman, and she may be a good woman, but you start to look at her like, you know, I'm just tired of this motherfucker. I don't really want to be with her ass no more. It's time for you to kind of move on. Wouldn't you agree? And that's how I feel about the Gen 5 Glock 26. When I look at it, it's like, I just don't really want to be with this motherfucker no more. Especially when the Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS is out there. I'd rather be with that. And I know my people on Facebook, when they see this video, they really going to say, I told you, Chris. And you're right, man. I can't even front, man. Y'all right, man. Y'all right. Y'all told me I should have just went and got the Glock 19. And that's what I should have did, man. I kind of wanted that little bit of versatility. But the main thing I don't like about the Glock 26, and nothing will be able to fix that, Let's put the 15-round magazine in there. You see where the Glock hump is right here? I don't like where it sits. It sits right here. I think the reason... I'm going to show you something too. So I'm going to hold my finger right here. That's where the Glock hump sits on my hand. I think with this Glock 17, I like it so much. It's because that hump is more down here at the bottom because the grip is more longer. So you can see the difference. Between the 26, the hump is right here. On the 17 is way down here where I like it at because it kind of gives you that leverage and it helps you keep that gun tilted up so when you fire it, you can stay on target more better. That's why I like this Glock 17. That's why I feel so good in my hand. And that's why I really was thinking about the uh, Gen 5 Glock 45 also is my EDC versus the 19. But I think I'm just going to go with the 19. Kind of be right there in the middle. Right there in the middle. Big enough to fight with, small enough to conceal and another thing about this Glock 26, I do not like this light. This TRL6 leaves a lot to be desired. It really do. It leaves a lot to be desired. And I'm just like this. If I'm going to have a weapon light on my handgun, I do want that light to be bright enough that if I have to use it to illuminate a threat, that it's bright enough that it's also going to disorient that threat also. And this TRL6, it leaves a lot to be desired. It really do. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do right there. We're going to take it down there. We got another hour before he opens up. We're going to take it down there. I'm going to try to get me 400 for it. 
If not 400, give me 350. Even if he was to give me 300, I'll take 300 because I really just want to get rid of it. That's like kind of how bad I want to get with it. And you can't forget I got that $300 credit at Academy Sports. So if this is 300, I got the $300 credit at Academy Sports. The, uh, matter of fact, I'll roll in a little picture of the Glock 1949 because there's only one more stock. So let's roll that in right now. So as, as you can see, that gun is 650. So if I get three for this, bare minimum, I got the three hundred dollar credit at Academy Sports. That's only about maybe what a hundred, hundred twenty dollars out of pocket. I gotta put. That's a clean swap. I'm willing to accept that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it down there. We're gonna see what we can get for it. If not today, guaranteed tomorrow. Possibly, you'll see that Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS. That's all I want. I'm not looking at nothing else. I was kind of thinking about that Hellcat Pro also, but I think I want to stick with Glock. I like the fact that if I get that Glock 19, I can still stick a 30 round magazine in there. So that'll be a good EDC handgun. And then I can still keep that 30 round. 33 round stick magazine in my get home bag and then still have that versatility So that's why I want to kind of stick with Glock because there's a lot of versatility with Glock Plus I already know what holster I want. I already know what light I want. So yeah That's what we're gonna do man. So let's hope for the best man. Let's hope for the best man I did business with this man a lot. So he usually work with me. He take whatever I bring to him and Since everything been like that I can feel confident saying that you know He's making a profit off of what I bring to him so, whatever I ask for, he'll give it to me. If I go in there for 400, he probably say 350. More than likely, I probably get 350 for it. But I'm gonna go in there saying a strong 400. Cause look at everything you're getting. Plus, not only that, I even got some extra stuff too. Since my Palmetto State Army lowers lowers don't like aluminum magazines, you can get these magazines right here, and you get these damn magazine pouches, which I don't need anymore and don't like, because I'm going with the um, high speed gear magazine pouches. So that's what we're gonna do, man. Hopefully. Either today or tomorrow, you'll see that Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS. Y'all be blessed. Be safe. I'm out. If everything goes good, this will be the last time that you ever see me with a Gen 5 Glock 26.